Okay, what's he doing? What's he doing? What's she doing? And her. And him. They're hanging spoons. What else? Watch and we'll show you how. Take a clean, dry spoon and gently place it on the tip of your nose, like this. Everybody has a different spot it will hang on, but everybody has one. Don't press, just feel for it. You'll drop a few until you find it. But you'll get it. They all did. Hang a spoon tonight, tomorrow for sure. Brand new, because you make it yourself. Meet Dan, the magical diving man. Here's a great old toy you can make new, and it's really very easy. These are the parts you'll need to make a diving man. First, a large bottle. These are perfect because they're tall and each has a wide mouth. The larger the bottle, the better, but you'll have to have one with a big enough mouth to get the diver inside and balance him. The diver is made from a small plastic pill bottle like one of these. Look around the house for an empty one. Then you'll need four small bolts to make the legs on the diver. You'll also need glue to fasten them on with, silver paint for the completed diver, and a large balloon and a rubber band for the top of the bottle. Paint for the bottle and aquarium rocks for the bottom are optional, but they make a lot niftier toy if you add them. First, you should glue the legs onto the diver. These bolts also add the weight needed to make him work. We put the bolts on with epoxy glue because this kind is fast, strong, and waterproof. Make sure the four legs are evenly spaced around the bottom. You can hold them in place while gluing with a rubber band, string, or some wire. When he's finished, paint him silver and add whatever details you want with an indelible marking pen. Now we're ready to make him dive. As you can see, just putting him in the water, he floats too high. You need to tip him over and let some of the air out so he just floats at the surface of the water. If you let too much out, he'll sink like this. After a few tries, you'll get him adjusted so he's floating perfectly like this. Now you're ready for the top. Cut the balloon about two-thirds of the way from the top like this. You'll probably need some help on the last step. That is, someone to hold the bottle while you stretch the balloon over the top and put the rubber band on. Stretch it as tight as you can and pull the edges down around the neck of the bottle. Then put the rubber band on to keep the balloon from slipping. If you need to, double the rubber band. Well, Dan the Magical Diving Man is now ready for his first test. To make him dive,
press firmly down on the balloon with all of your fingers, and there he goes. And up again. And down. And here's what's fun. By varying the pressure with your hand, you can make him stop in the middle or wherever you like. As we said earlier, you can paint the bottle with a seascape like this and put aquarium rocks or sand on the bottom to give Dan a deep sea setting. Whatever you decide, just remember, you've got something no one else has and it's new because you made it yourself. Hey, Mel. Yes, sir? What do you get when you tie two bicycles together? I don't know what. Siamese Schwins. <laughs> 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 heard of a stakeout. You have to watch a house for hours and hours to see who comes and goes. And what time? We're going to take you on a stakeout. But we're going to make it a little difficult for you by running the tape fast. And then we'll see how good you are as a detective. Now pay close attention to everything. Then we'll interrogate you. Ready? Begin. Okay, your stakeout is over. Now, without rolling the tape back until you've tried to answer all the questions, tell me, how many people left the house and didn't come back? How many people went into the house that weren't there at the start? What was the name on the truck? What color was the dog? Which way did the first man leave the house? To the right or to the left? Which way did the woman go? There were two ways a large amount of money could have been taken out of the house. What were they? Well, those are our questions. Let's run through the tape again and point out the answers. First, only this guy in the tuxedo left and didn't come back. You should have remembered him. Uh, we don't count the dog. These are the only two that entered who weren't there at the start. The name on the truck was Denny's. The dog was black. The first guy left to his left, your right. The woman went to her right, your left. Well, taking the money out in the briefcase was obvious, but what about wrapped up in the laundry? There are a lot more questions we could ask you about the stakeout, or you can ask your friends. Just keep your eyes and ears open every day, everywhere. 
You never know what might be important. Hmm? What do you call a dog that's been hit by a steamroller? Spot. Brand new, because you make it yourself. Just think, a paddle boat, an electric motorboat, a mystery steamboat, and they're all made from one basic design that you make from an empty plastic bleach bottle. Okay, let's go. Try to get the kind of bottle that's made from heavier plastic, and you'll have a stronger boat. As you can see, the part we cut out of the top of the bottle simply gets turned over and glued to the bottom to form the keel. To make the keel, draw the shape of half of the keel on heavy paper like this and cut it out. Then tape it to the ridge line on the handle side of the bottle. Trace around the pattern with a felt tip pen. Then flip it over and trace the other side. Now you have a perfect outline and you're ready to begin cutting out the keel. The best way to cut this kind of plastic is with an X-Acto knife, but this is an extremely sharp knife, so be sure you know how to use one, or ask an adult to do the cutting for you. You can also use long, sharp scissors. When using the X-Acto knife, use short, even strokes and keep the fingers of your other hand well away. Now you have the hull and the keel and you need to do some sanding to roughen up the surfaces before you glue. Sand along the line here and also on the keel, like so. A word about glue. Many glues are great for wood, like this white glue, but they just won't work on this kind of plastic. You need an epoxy like this. It holds well and dries in about five minutes. Put a good coat of glue along the line on the keel on the part you've sanded. Then put the keel on the hull, lined up and even. Although the fast epoxy will dry in about five minutes, it's better to wait about an hour before putting your boat in the water. And there you have your basic bleach bottle boat. If the keel is right, it should float like this. But hold on. In another segment, we'll show you how to add real paddle power. Just one of the many ways to make it go. A mind faster than a calculator? A genius who can add a column of ten figures in his head almost instantly? Someone who reads transistors? 858. It would seem that way. But with a little practice, you can do the same because it figures. Here's how it works. Ask a friend to pick any two numbers between one and ten and start an addition column. Then tell them to add those two numbers together to get a third number. Have them continue adding the last two numbers in the column to get the next number. As the numbers get bigger, they can use the calculator. Continue this until they have ten numbers in the column. Starting with three and five, the column would look like this. Now hand them the calculator and ask them to add the column of ten numbers, but not to push the equal sign. Have them do this so you cannot see the display on the calculator. Next, place the calculator against your forehead and tell them to push the equal sign. Just before they do, give them the answer. 605. Amazing, but now we'll show you how it figures. As they are making up the column of figures by adding the last two numbers to get the next one, remember the seventh number. In this column, you can see it was 55. That's the only number you need. 
Now in your head, multiply that number by 11. Don't worry, the seventh number will never be more than two digits, even if they start with 10 and 10. And in case you didn't know, multiplying by 11 is simply a matter of addition. Watch. It may take a little practice to get that addition down, but not much since it always works the same. For instance, for 72 times 11, think 72 plus 72. 2, 9, 7. Answer, 792. Okay, once again, here's how it works. Have your friend start with any two numbers between 1 and 10 and start an addition column. Then have them add those two together to get a third number. Then the last two to get a fourth number. Have them continue until they have a column of 10 numbers. They can use a calculator. You remember the seventh number. Multiply it by 11 in your head, simply by adding, like so. 78 plus 78, 858. Tell them to add the column, but not push the equal sign. Hold it against your head and give them the answer. 858. <sighs> hey, it figures. Some people believe that plants respond when you talk to them. Well, here's a plant that responds when you touch it. Watch. Now that's a sensitive plant. In fact, that's what it's called, the sensitive plant. The technical name is Mimosa pudica, but sensitive plant is a lot easier to remember. This touchy little friend will fold up when you brush it with your finger. It folds up in the rain or when you water it, and it will even close when the wind blows very hard. It also folds up at night. In normal sunshine, a healthy plant comes fully back open in about 15 minutes. What causes all this sensitivity? It's a process called thigmotropism by scientists. The sensitive plant is native to semi-tropical climates, but they're easy to grow just about anywhere during the summer. Greenhouses in many areas sell them already started in pots like these. And you can usually find starter kits of seeds like these in hardware and garden supply stores in the spring. So grow yourself a really sensitive friend, the sensitive plant. What do you call a vampire who's been hit by a steamroller? Count Spatula! <laughs> Secret messages? Not really. If you know Morse code. Unless you do, though, it's totally meaningless. But don't you wish you knew what they're saying? And is this more Morse code? Well, it could be. But actually, it's a signal arranged by two friends who live across the street from each other. Uh, the flashing light is saying, call me after 10 o'clock. This is obviously in code and may have been one of the most important secret messages of our time. That message was partially responsible for the rescue of the PT boat commander John F. Kennedy, the future president of the United States. Since the days of the Greeks and Romans, codes and secret messages have been important to governments, armies, navies, spies, and even businesses. They help keep secrets, and they can help you keep a secret, just for fun. You've probably seen this famous code or cipher. A cipher has a letter, symbol, or number for each letter of the alphabet. A code uses more complex structures, but we'll use the words interchangeably. Anyway, this is the famous Masonic cipher. It was reportedly used by soldiers during the Civil War. But today, so many people know it. We're going to show you some real spy-type code. Now, it may look like this guy is doing his homework with a dictionary. Not a bad idea. But actually, he's decoding a secret message. Look, he and his friend have identical dictionaries. It would not work if they weren't identical. 
He's received a message from his friend that says, we meet at 8 tonight. All his friend has done is take the page number and the number of the word on each page to encode the message. We is on page 1004 and is the 15th word in the page. So the first word we becomes 1004-15. The whole message, we meet at 8 tonight, would read 1004-15, 558-7, 53-7, 2-1, 2-2, 3-2, 3-3, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 4-4, 
Of course, today, codes can be computerized, and they're much more complex. But now, at least you know of several ways to keep it a secret. And to show you how much fun it is, we'll use the rail fence cipher we just showed you to leave you with a question and an answer. First, write down the message and decipher it as we showed you. Here's the question. Got that? And here's the answer. Oh, and when you decipher it, keep it a secret, huh? If I told you you'd get a bang out of the Sunday paper, you'd probably look for something funny in it. But no, this is a real bang. Well, perhaps more of a pop. Watch. Start with one of the advertising color sections. They're made of slightly stronger paper. Open it up like this, and then fold it lengthwise like this, and open it back up again. Now fold triangles into the center fold, like this. and repeat on the other end. Next, fold it lengthwise again, like this. Okay so far? Now, fold it back in half so the points meet like this. Finally, fold the points back over the short, straight side of the paper that's left, like this. And now, you're ready to start the countdown. Hold your popper between your thumb and forefinger by the points, like so. Raise it above your head and bring it down sharply like this, and... Well, it's hardly what scientists call the Big Bang effect, but it does make a pretty good pop. You can make them out of a full-size newspaper like this. But they usually tear on the first pop. Of course, if you're really just folding around, you can make one out of the biggest paper you can find. And... a quarter on the edge of a dollar bill? Sure, there's a trick to it. We'll show you. You need a very new crisp dollar bill to make this work. So you can fold it in half like this and crease it sharply. Open it up and balance the quarter on this edge. But wait, that's not possible either. What you need to do is fold the bill again like this. Then you can balance the quarter on the V-edge. But that's no trick at all, you say. Aha! Keep your peepers on this next step. Carefully grab both ends of the bill and slowly, steadily straighten it out. Careful. Now you've really done something amazing. With a little practice, you can even lift it. So go out and earn or borrow a crisp new dollar bill in a quarter and amaze your friends and fool your family. It's fun. This is Dr. Mysterio. Here are some great things we'll show you how to make in our next Almanac of Fun. A very special lamp for your room. 
a magical crystal garden. A sailboat from a bleach bottle. Your own wave-making machine. Some great new paper airplanes. A necklace from a beautiful stone. And a bleach bottle airboat. We'll see you there. Dr. Mysterious. Dr.